like this. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, my name is uh, Ronald Mann, and I'm a Vietnam veteran. And, not, and, and I paint uh, stuff that I, I, I mean, I can't even call it art myself, but it's my art, my own art. Oh, nobody didn't know it was you at all, darling. Nobody didn't know it all. Just me. My God. Yes. Oh, man. This is wild, brother. You ought to see this front shot. It's wild. Oh, oh, you might not like this in here. That is radical. That is radical. And in 66, I was in Vietnam on the combat zone. A door gunner and a helicopter and a, and a gunship, you know what I mean? This is bird's eye view right here. This piece of art right here is because when you, when you was up there flying, uh, you could see everything and, and there was always some cheery, cheery sadness because of what you was doing because inevitably you was killing generations of people. Actually generations, when you kill one, you kill all of them, you know what I mean? A weeping. It was like for the uh, weeping, there was always the crying and weeping. So, so I painted a, a, an empty tree that's weeping for empty people right now because they lost everything there. Because the Agent Orange coming and scooped them. The death from the orange did all that damage. This is the generation after generation, not only the trees, the, the, human, the human race too. Uh, it just happened to me one day. Uh, I got rid of this filling right here and, and the rice paddy lady, uh, we did, did a village and then we was going down to see what the hell was in the uh, left of the village and then the village and around the village as we walked across the rice paddies. You could see, look down in the water, you could see a hue of red coming out of there, a slight hue of red. And then all of a sudden the, the propeller had left and it made a wave sort of like in the water. And as you looked in the water, you could see her face glowing back out of the water, just glowing back out of the water. And her, her hat was still floating on top. It wasn't on top of her head. That was on top of the patty, you know what I'm saying? So she made a big dent in my head for a while there. But I did carry it back in my mind, and there it is on canvas now. So then we were standing there all up on the bank, looking down and going, damn, look at that, man. She was pretty as hell at one time, you know what I mean? Because she was a beautiful rice paddy lady. But but not in war. First I started out and I'd done slides and then I projected them slides on the original pieces of art. And I start taking them with a 35 millimeter camera and I could get them to where I could shoot them. Then I got a little depth out of it. So I kept shooting them and shooting them. Then merging them together made me feel like more of like a story was coming out of the art. So I could merge two pieces of art like this piece here is a Oklahoma City and a world of mass destruction. So that's a double wham for me because that's two things that's happened to our country. This painting behind me is called uh, Rosa Parks because I, I was raised in a community and a, and a family that was sort of like prejudice. Rosa Parks said, fuck you, I'm not going to the back of the bus. I'm tired of walking to the back of the bus. Leave me alone. Let me be Rosa Parks. Back. 74 year old sister checking to make sure I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs>